so the next question we'll dive into is from a user who says our files in our file shares do not have any metadata associated with them currently. Are there any ways to automatically tag the appropriate metadata in our libraries if we are migrating from file shares to SharePoint Online? Another good question. Um, well, now that we have our target state information architecture created, and we, we put a lot of thought into that, we probably have hundreds and thousands of file folders and files that we need to migrate from our file shares. We obviously can't ask people to go in and manually tag all of that, those folders and files and everything that they're, they're doing. They do have their day jobs, right? So, And it's our job as migration experts to really support them through this process. And there's a lot of techniques to tag the data. And, and let's go through some of them. So first and foremost, as part of the ShareGate stack of tools, there's this capability where you can export your source and destination migration data into a spreadsheet, either CSV or Excel. And then using this spreadsheet, you can manually add the metadata in a bulk manner uh, using that spreadsheet tools that everybody's used to. So ShareGate also gives you these metadata type guidelines um, that within the, within the spreadsheet itself. And in the case of subfolders, you can use the normal Excel-like formulas that you're used to. So if a folder has something in the name of it, you could transcribe that to be metadata and auto derive the appropriate metadata in your spreadsheets. And by doing this, it's gonna save you a ton of time so people don't have to manually do that. Um, next, there's also this concept of folder and library column defaults that are built into your document libraries. There's also content type and metadata configurations you should learn to leverage for auto setting the metadata on your columns. Now, usually you do that as part of when you're setting up your information architecture. Another option is creating a Power Automate flow, a piece of code or a script or using an Azure Logic app to populate metadata as documents are added, migrated, changed. And you can run this population on demand or on a scheduled basis. Now, all of those are great, but my favorite option nowadays is actually using the new features built into SharePoint Premium. And not many people know about the advanced SharePoint capability for automatic AI-based metadata extraction and tagging. And all of that is built, those are just a few of the capabilities within this new capability in called SharePoint Premium. One of these features is the ability to drop your documents in a library that already has this extraction model built in. And that model is already pre-trained to identify the content type and pull in the metadata from within the document itself into columns in your document library. So that's an awesome capability within SharePoint Premium, which a lot of people don't know already. And my absolutely favorite capability in SharePoint Premium is the autofill capability. You basically create a new column in your document library and using natural language, just like we're used to with ChatGPT and Copilot, you're just describing how you want that metadata populated. For example, if you need to pull out some information that resides in your document, perhaps something like a country your product is in, all you need to do is go to that column settings and describe it in natural language. Maybe something like identify all countries referenced in this document and add them to this column. If no countries are identified, input the, the verbiage, no countries identified in the column, and it's going to automatically do this for you. So that's an awesome capability that you can leverage. Wow, I didn't realize that about the SharePoint Premium, so that's really good to know. 